Collision damage works when the charger is a larger unit size than the target, with a max damage of 70, of which 70% 70 of that is armor piercing. How we can calculate collision damage is Entity 1 speed plus Entity 2 speed, Skull Crushers and the Zargards. Zargards aren't moving because they're braced, so it's only the speed of the Skull Crushers, which is 62, times by uh, their mass, which is 1650, divided by 150, which is 11, so we do 62 times by 11, meaning we have 682, which is our collision power. Then what we want to do with that collision power is to the power of the normalizer, which is 0 0.8. Then what we want to do after we've got that is times collision damage modifier, which is 0 0.6, meaning we have 110.96, but it's over 70, so we have to round that down. Using stuff, so I've made sure to put the formula on screen, pause if you need help. But keep in mind, I'm going to showcase how to maximize your collision damage, spread out your units as wide as possible to allow for entity on entity contact. As you can see, the guys on the left have done so much more damage. Thank you so very much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed. And also check out this other video. It might interest you.